A little to the south, a Zimbabwean Prime Minister Morgan Changirai says the road collision that killed his wife and injured him was an accident. He said the possibility of foul play was slim, saying the chance of that was one in a thousand. Susan Changirai was killed when a foreign aid truck hit the Prime Minister's car outside the capital on Friday, flipping it over several times. Meanwhile, Zimbabwe's ambassador to the U.S., Machiwenyi Kamapuranga, says he was shocked at the news of Mr. Changirai's accident and the death of his wife. But he says he's saddened by speculation that President Mugabe was to blame. He is a key figure in this uh, government, and to, uh, to, for him to be uh, involved in this accident and to lose his spouse, it's, you know, it opens a whole area of speculations and rumor mongering and... Uh, and so forth. But uh, uh, I think I go back to what I said earlier on that people should wait for uh, the facts to come out from the investigation. The little news that we have uh, does not show that uh, the, uh, you know, the relations between the, the president and, and the prime minister have deteriorated because of this accident. Uh, we, when I spoke with someone, he, he, he said that uh, uh, the two men were, you know, they had a, a very cordial chat, showing that there was no, uh, you know, no uh, ill feeling at all. We had the, uh, uh, the African heads of state and government meeting at Sham al-Sheikh in Egypt in December, and they came out clearly and unequivocally on, on the need to support the new inclusive government, uh, you know that, that you know that will be created in Zimbabwe. That it was their prescription, and when uh, Africa came out openly and clearly like this, uh, the uh, uh, the Africa Minister of the United Kingdom, uh, Mark Malok Brown, said, "Well, Africa has spoken." What can we do? We just have to give it a go. So let them continue to give it a go. And, and, and uh, they, they, they should, uh, we are surprised that they're still maintaining their, their sanctions.